Hi everyone, welcome back to the Average Hashtag Gaming Channel, it's AP here and today we are looking at how you turn ABS off if you're a controller player and hopefully after watching this video you won't end up like the Mercedes did in the picture that's on the screen at the moment. Before we start, this is just my opinion and I'm definitely not an expert but I just want to share with you how I learnt to drive without ABS. So the first thing we're going to look up is setups and how you set up your car to help avoid locking up your brakes without ABS on. So on F1 2020 my brake pressure on every setup is 100% and my front brake bias ranges from 50% to 55%. I found that if I went above 55% I was locking up the front wheels too much. So that, But that is going to be purely down to your own driving style. Okay, So you might have to play about with your front brake bias to find a percentage that works for you. So you've got your brake set up in your car set up and what shouldn't you do when you're trying to brake with ABS off? So here we go, we're going down to the source hairpin at Belgium, big braking zone and we're going to try and turn our wheels while we're braking. We lock up, we lose all our speed and we've lost almost 1.8 seconds on the lap delta. So our second example, we're going to brake too hard for too long. So here we go, we're in seventh gear, braking down, we get down to second, we're going to brake really hard still, we lock up and we lose all our speed. We don't lose as much speed as we did in the first example, but we're still nearly a second down on the, the lap delta. So now I'm going to try and simplify some complicated braking terms. So the first one is trail braking. So what trail braking means is when you're in the high gears you brake as hard as you can but as you go down through the gearbox and you get to third second gear you start coming off the brakes and you roll through the apex of the corner with a good minimum speed and then as you get to the apex you pick up the power again and you get and you start accelerating towards the next part of the racetrack. So here we go then we're going to slow it down a bit. So watch the telemetry, watch the car, 7th gear, heavy braking, down to 6, down to 5, down to 4, coming off the brakes as we hit 2nd gear, rolling into the apex and then getting back on the power and heading down to Eau Rouge as fast as we can. So cadence braking is the next term and this basically means you pump the brakes so that you can steer and turn at the same time. Good example of where you need to do this is turn 9 and 10 in Bahrain. And what we're going to do again, we're going to slow it down, watch the telemetry and watch how I pump the brakes so that I can slow the car down and turn it at the same time. So we're going to go 7th gear, full brake, off brake, back on brake for 4th gear, back down to 2, little touch on the brake for the turn in and then we're through turn 10, we haven't locked up and we're accelerating our way down the DRS straight and hopefully in a race set yourself up for an overtake. So I found that the best way to practice turning ABS off wasn't in time trial, but actually in an unranked lobby. And you can actually set unranked lobbies up so you can practice in them. So I'll show you how you do it. Go to unranked lobby, set up a session, uh, friends only or invite only, whichever one you prefer. When you Once you get into your unranked lobby, go to host options, set your options up for what, if you want to use your multiplayer car or your F1 car. Practice length to make sure it's a long practice so you get lots of tyres. Qualifying setting doesn't really matter. Race distance is really important. Make sure you set the race distance up that you're practicing for. So for example, 50% you'll get your tyre life will be representative of 50%, 25% your tyre life will be representative of a 25% race. Once you've done that, head over to race settings and make sure the car setup option is on full. This will allow you to change your fuel loads, which is really important when it comes to practicing without ABS. The final thing you need to do, and this is the big one, and the big step forward is go to assist restrictions. Now I turn them all off when I go onto an unranked lobby to practice and have manual gearbox on. You might pick and choose certain restrictions, but turn off ABS. Turn it off. Be brave because once you turn it off in the assist restrictions you then can't select it again during the actual practice lobby so here we go we're going to select our team Renault quite like red, yellow and black we're going to select Bahrain on the assist menu I now can't change those settings and once you like I said once you start the practice lobby you can't change those settings again so you're going to launch the lobby and even though I'm by myself in the unranked lobby because it's a practice session I can do it by myself and as we load up into the practice session and we get into the car in the pit lane, we can go to the TV screen. We can go to car setup and I'm going to load my Bahrain setup up. And if you want to watch my time trial hot lap with my Bahrain setup, it's at the top of the screen now. So once that's loaded, we go into the custom setup and here we can now adjust our fuel loads, which is a really important thing to practice with when you're learning how to drive without ABS. So 50% race is 26 laps of Bahrain. So I can set that up as a fuel load for practice and I can do soft, medium or hard tire practice on that fuel load. Or I can do qualifying practice and reduce my fuel load down to what I'd like to take out for a qualifying lap. And I can practice that without ABS on. 
or I can go to a second stint which would be about 80, 18, 19, 70 laps and I can practice with that fuel load with tyres on as well and see the difference in how I have to brake and how I have to change my braking style to adjust for each of those fuel loads and that's a really important thing to learn when you're practicing with ABS and the be beauty of doing a long practice is that you get a hard, one set of hards, two sets of mediums and three sets of soft tyres so you've got loads of tyres to practice with so even if you make a mistake you've still got another set of softs or another set of mediums hard tyres, it's up to you if you practice on them uh, the only thing you have to be aware of when you're doing a practice session like this is that the track is very green when you first go out so just be careful of your grip levels and don't worry too much about your lap times just look for either a consistency in your lap times or look to be as fast as you can depending on what fuel load you're running in that practice lobby and as you go out, the benefit of practicing like this in an unranked lobby is you get everything so you can change your fuel settings you can change your ers deployment you can change everything that you can in a race setting that you can't do in a, in a time trial lobby you get tyre temperatures and brake temperatures to think about you get tyre wear to think about which obviously will affect you when you're braking without brake assist or braking without ABS okay, as you can see I'm just scrolling through all the options and it's pretty much as close to a race practice as you'll get on this game time trial is not the way to learn to drive without ABS time trial gives you a perfect car with perfect tyre temperatures every lap if you've played this game enough or played enough F1 games you'll know that your tyre temperatures temperatures fluctuate depending on where your tyre wear affects how you brake so as we go round we're going to go round to start our lap for Bahrain we're panicking a little bit we want to turn off ABS we go to the options we go to assist we can't turn it off we can't turn it on sorry because we've restricted it so now we've got to have a go without ABS and that is a good fail safe against going out oh, you know what? I just want to drive with ABS on again so here we go we're going to do a hot lap I'll try and talk you through it. We've got 18 laps of fuel on board. We've got the soft tyres, so we'll see how far we go. So here we go then, down to turn one, down to two. We're trail braking, we're off the brakes, we're on the power, and we haven't locked up the wheels. Through to difficult turn three, and up the hill we go to turn four. Again, we're going to trail brake, and we're going to get off the brakes before we hit third gear. So we brake at the 100 metre board, down the gears we go, off the brakes, roll it in, back on the power. Up we go. I took a terrible line through turn five, which is embarrassing. Turn six on the powerful throttle. I'm going to deliberately lock the car up here. Here we go, braking too hard and trying to turn the wheels in third gear. Locks the wheels up. You have to be careful. Just wanted to prove that I had ABS off still. Turn nine and ten with cadence braking again. Down to second, off the gears, on the power, off up the DRS straight. As we get up the DRS straight, we're going to trail brake into the next corner. We're going to brake really hard down to fourth. Off the brakes, on the power, and up the hill we go. Really important you get a good drive out of that corner. Here we go. I always find this break, the next braking zone really difficult. But early on the brakes, down to fourth, roll it in. Throttle on about half, and off we go up. Off we go to the final corner and again we're going to trail break into it we're trying to get down to third gear we're going to do a little brake adjustment at turning which you can do but you've got to be very 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 careful with that that you don't lock up and here we go across the start finish line we're going to set a 130.2 the aim of the next lap is to try and get as close to that lap time as possible thanks a lot for watching this video on how i learned to drive without abs and if you have enjoyed watching it don't forget to click the like button if you don't want to miss any future uploads of hot laps, car setups, community races or any tips and tricks videos like this one for F1 2020, click the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on notifications. My name's AP and I'll see you soon.